Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Roman on Fire. Hope you're doing well. This is a build tutorial on how to build this log house right here. I've used it in my past survival series. I've also used it in my uh, new live stream. So go ahead and check that out. Follow me on Twitch if you haven't. And I've also used it on many old worlds, uh, as you can see right there. I've used it on a past uh, Xbox world back in like 2015. But um, yeah, it's just kind of like a house I've designed for myself and I've kind of just stuck to that. And I quite like it, so I thought why not make a build tutorial and show you guys how to build it. So that's what we're doing today. Here's how to build it. Okay, so in order to build the house, you're going to need an 8x9 area. And I'm using stone bricks as the floor. You can, of course, use something else if that's what you prefer. And then I'm just placing two more right here. And then some doors, just like that. And this right here is the entrance. So we've got eight blocks across and nine across that way. The next step is to go ahead and place some pillars. For now, we're just going to make them about four blocks tall. So use oak logs or unless you want to use something else. And just place them like that so that there's uh, gaps of two blocks in each spot, including these doors. And then go ahead and take some birch planks, place those along there, just like that. So some there, there, and there. And then go ahead and take out glass and just make uh, the sides uh, four blocks tall and two blocks across. So we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then on the middle one, you're going to want to make this one five blocks tall. Okay, I know it looks a little bit weird for now, but trust me, we're going to fix it later. So what you're going to want to do right now is go to the sides and just add birch planks all across here. And then continuing to add some pillars on these corners back here. So yep, just the sides for now. You're going to want to make it just like that. So have a bunch of birch planks going all the way around on each side. And this is going to leave a huge space for all of our glass. And then you're just going to fill it in with glass. So now that you've done the sides, we're going to come to the back and we're going to place birch like that. Just like how we did before. So we've got these pillars again. Just for now, going up four blocks is probably good. And then just have glass on the sides, three blocks tall. And then for this one right here, you're gonna want, yeah, so for the middle, you're gonna want two by two, and then get more birch planks. And then, yeah, so it's gonna be um, two by two here, two by two, and then another two by two right there. Now that you've finished part of the back, just like I explained before, and the sides and the front, of course, we're gonna start building that roof actually, and everything will come together in just a second. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to have a stone brick stair. It's gonna be diagonal from this oak log. So this is four blocks tall, one, two, three, four. And then your stone brick stair is gonna be right above that and diagonal from it as well. So you're just gonna follow along like this. You're gonna go ahead and crouch and just keep going up like this. I'm just holding shift the entire time so I don't fall. And this is naturally going to make a really nice pattern. And then you're going to go back to the other side. Doesn't matter which side you start. And you're just going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. There you go. So now we've got a little bit of a framework to go off of for our roof. What you're going to want to do from here is make sure you kind of fill in these blocks. So I'm going to fill in this pillar right here. So I placed one more block there. And then I just added more stairs. And you want to fill in all of these blocks. So what I like to do is with these stairs that have like these small gaps in between, I just like to place birch on them instead of glass because I think it looks a little bit weird um, putting glass right here. That's why I wanted you to place exactly four, four blocks tall over there before, if that makes sense. But you're going to want birch planks right there to fill that up and then just keep placing stairs on top. It'll make things nice and easy. And then for this part, you just want to continue that pillar all the way to the top and then more birch planks right there. And then the exact same thing right here. And then, yep, you just fill in all those blocks and then you're going to do the exact same thing on the back actually. 
So we're just gonna go ahead and come over here and then get our stair over here and just do this exact same thing again. There you go. And then you've got this situation right here. So you're gonna do the exact same thing as last time where you just continue building up blocks so that you can fill up these gaps right here. Like that, more birch on there. And then this is more oak, birch. And then oak right there. And then go ahead and place more stairs. Okay, there you go. So now you've got that all filled in. So now literally all you have to do is just keep placing stone bricks just like this. This and this can take a while. This is probably going to be uh, the most tedious process is placing stairs along here. So just be patient. Make sure you get plenty of uh, stone bricks before you build this because you will need quite a lot. I'll just say. Okay, there we go. That's the roof finish, and that is actually all of the exterior all done. So if you made it this far, congratulations. Go ahead and pat yourself on the back. And now, if you want to do the interior, it's pretty simple. What I like to do is I like to get just some stone bricks. So let me actually grab some stone bricks. I just like to fill in this gap right here. One way to make this look nice and pretty is just to go ahead and place stairs upside down like that and you just keep following along like this kind of like making that roof we just made but it's in reverse and there you go that is your ceiling looking pretty good i must say and then now some things i like to do with the interior is i like to get some ladders and then i like to place these along the back like this and then you can go ahead and just make yourself like a little loft if you want to. So this is like a really fun thing to do. So you can just add a little loft right here, add some more stone bricks. And then you can maybe get like a fence. So that you can't fall off. Just like that. And then if you wanted to, you could put like a bed here. and then place that along there. And then look, there you go. You've got your own loft. You can expand it all the way through if you want to. That's totally optional. You can add plenty of like uh, crafting tables and furnaces over here, armor stands. You could even use a little, you could even make yourself a little basement down here and use the uh, floor as a ceiling for it. So for decoration, I like to take out some leaves. Maybe also get some torches too if you want those. And then what I like to do on the very back is I like to get some dirt and trapdoors. Dirt, trapdoors, and then some flowers. So we'll just use these ones for now. And then what I like to do here is I like to make this a little garden for your flowers. And then I think it looks really good. We just have them go along there. And there you go. There's the back of your house. I think that looks really nice. And I think the side is a little boring, honestly. So if you want to spruce that up, you sure can. And that's pretty much the house for you. So yeah, thank you so much for uh, following this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, uh, please leave a like. It really helps. And I will see you guys next time.